so we are about to balance our TBS Discovery 900 KB engines but first I'm gonna show something I'm I was supposed to use the G engines but I had really hard problems with the balance of them so I have mounted one G engine here and I'm using my iPhone with a program called uh, iSizometer to see the vibrations and as you can see on the screen um, this engine is one of the good engines so when starting to running the engine we can see on the scope that there's barely none vibrations and if I put my fingers on the table I can feel that it's running quite nice so I'll mount another G engine to show you why some engines are more expensive than others okay I have now mounted another G original engine and this one I have tried to balance but I won't success and uh, you can hear the sound of the engine that is quite different to the first one and the vibrations are quite big and if I rev up and put my finger on the table to feel I can feel quite a big amount of vibrations so when using an engine with this vibration in in an aerial photograph machine you will end up with lots of problem with the GoPro you won't get the perfect picture so uh, that's why I decided to test the TBS engines because I had to buy some more engines and out of six G engines I have, four engines are just the same as this one. I can't get can't get the vibrations uh, off. It won't balance, so uh, let's have a look at TBS engines. I have <coughs> mounted the first TBS engine, so let's have a look how balanced they are. This is one fourth of the throttle. I balance my engines at half throttle because that's normally where we hover. So this is half throttle and we have not, not as much vibrations as the G engines but there are still some vibrations and I will use some black electrical tape because it uh, disappears on those black engines so what we need to do is just first
put on the tape somewhere on the engine, take it up for a spin to see if it's okay, it's even worse. We need to stop. Take the tape off, move it a little bit, take it for a spin. Okay, it looks little little better. I will move it a little more. Take it for a new spin. Okay. I think I moved the tape the wrong direction. Let's move it back. And spin. I can feel there are a lot of vibrations. So move the tape some more. And uh, it's just about perfect. The same vibrations as the three other, but it has some sort of another sound, but no vibration. So, engine number two, it sounds a little bit different, much quieter, and not that much vibrations. I put my fingers, to, the vibrations are equal. So we use a small, small piece once again. Just tape it on. Spin the engine. Okay, that was really bad. We need to move it. Okay. more see what happens okay that's about perfect balance no barely no vibrations at all so engine number three and we could guess that they are somehow equally manufactured, so I'm gonna use the same amount of black electrical tape and I'm gonna place it somewhat in the same place to see if it will do the trick. Okay, that was a bad thought, so we'll start moving the tape to see if it's getting better or worse. Quite some vibrations between one fourth and half. I'm not happy with that. Just keep moving the tape. And it looks quite promising. That's somewhat more like engine number one. I'll just try. Try move it a little, little bit more to see what happens. And I keep my fingers just to... Oh! That was really good. So... It's quite the same when throttling, so giving no excessive vibrations in the boom so engine number three i'm happy 
engine number four. Take it for a first spin and we got quite a lot of vibrations. So let's guess that we need some some same size that I have used on the other engines. I'll just tape it and we'll see what happens. Not a good spot. I'll just start moving, spinning. Not good. Let's move it. See what happens. Okay. Quite promising. I can throttle the engine and it's looking looking and feeling quite good it sounds good too so I'm quite happy with that